Hello and welcome back to Curlin the Colonizer. I am Robot Genie and we are beating friends. Yes, that's right, <laughs> but we have totally lost control of our colonial region down there and uh, we're gonna have to do something about that. I'm gonna cancel construction of all these. We are going to rebuild the colonial force, which is going to consist of what? What do I want it to consist of? Let's say we're gonna go with six infantry, and then two cav, which makes eight, and then we're going to go for four cannons. We're actually gonna take out loans to do this, so let's take uh, two loans. Should be enough. Um, so two more cannons. And then, uh, let's see, we have some more naval force on it, we're, we're going to actually go over. So right now we have five ships and five transports, so that's six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, so we can transport everybody all at once. And that's... That's how it's gonna, that's how it is, you know? That's how it is. We need more docks, we need more everything. Now let's, uh, let's first see what can, uh, can we get more from France now? Uh, Cause I think these sieges are gonna f finish relatively quickly. <laughs> they, uh, they just really don't wanna give us anything. Yeah. Even after getting their butts kicked a couple times. They uh they still think they're awesome and they they're probably right. In a long protracted war I will eventually lose. But I think I can let my manpower recover and give it one more one more uh slam their army one more time. Even coming across a river here, we outnumber them. Uh, we got a minus two though. That might not be good for us. Oh no, we're still doing quite well. Could have been worse, but uh... Oh, we got the Netherlands landing over here. Mantua would like, uh, would like to separate peace. I think we're getting a war score against them, so uh... No. No Mantua. Yeah, the relative strength of the alliance is... is very extremely in France's favor, but uh, they're not winning. They're not going to win. We will not allow them to win. What are these guys arriving on the 13th of January? That's great. We're going to sack wipe some uh, Netherlands folks. We'll have 40, like 40 war score from battles. Who would have thought we would do so well? Wow. France probably is still refusing to negotiate because none of the losses that they're taking are really, really too much of affecting them too much. Yeah, these other guys aren't. Like, if I could get the ne if I could get the Netherlands and Portugal out of the war, I would totally just continue. But I just don't think that's going to happen. And there's no way I can safely transport my troops across with France's fleet in the waters. Even if I got the other guys out. I would bring it over and it would get sunk either coming there or going back. And it would be a, it would be a mess. It's not really worth it. Yeah, it just cost too much to get them out of the war. And for what? Yeah, we wouldn't really gain a lot by doing it. Oh, now, now we can get every province that we've occupied, though. So we will do that, and we can get a ton of money from them. Yeah, they just... Those battles just really, really actually flipped it around for us. Yeah, those battles really changed things. We can get them to null trees with Portugal. And the Netherlands, no. I'd rather have the money than have them null trees with the Netherlands, too. Actually, 
let's let them keep their alliance with Portugal and annul treaties with the Netherlands. The Netherlands proved to be more of a pain than anyone, really. Or I guess alternatively, I could have got them to release vassals. Burgundy is 2%? Really? And it's part of the war goal. Releasing Burgundy is part of the war goal? How, how, how did that happen? How is releasing Burgundy part of the war goal? I mean, I guess... I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna argue. But I need more di diplomatic points. Why do I need more diplomatic points? What's costing me all the points? Is it these guys? Because I'll gladly not take them. Oh, it says that it's going to cost no points to release Burgundy, diplomatic points to release Burgundy, but it is going to cost diplomatic points, but we're totally going to do that. Uh, too bad I just spent all those points. That was really dumb of me. Yeah, really, really not intelligent. Um, so now we got to wait 10 months. Stuff's going to become unseaged in 10 months, like the war goal. Although Mantua wants a separate piece, and they're the ones sieging it, so we could give them the separate piece and take their money. Or not take their money. Because I don't have any money to take. We could, uh. You know what? Um. I don't really care about their alliances. Uh. Really? Let's just, uh. I don't know. Concede defeat. Yeah. You don't have any money. You don't have anything I want, really. So that was only one war score for us, but it stopped them from sieging. Very important there. Um, because we're going to have to wait. Oh, my fleet's being attacked. And that's a fight that we can't win. And uh, these guys need to dock up, too. Yeah, so we're just going to get some more Diplo points because I really want to release Burgundy. <laughs> that's, that's a lot of land that Burgundy gets. Oh wow, we just, we just stack wiped a 22 stack of French troops. That's, that's gotta hurt. Now, what, what is France's navy like? I'm getting really greedy here. Uh, their navy doesn't exist, actually. So if we can get Netherlands and Portugal out of the war, we can transport troops. Their navy doesn't exist. Are you kidding me? What would it cost to get the Netherlands out of the war? What do they want? They don't want anything. Will not betray their ally for gold. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Uh, so we just gotta wait them out a little bit then. That does tell me I can go. I can go and get the war gold back. So if we wait it out, uh, waiting it out is actually beneficial. And poor Hungary, I'm just sitting on their provinces and waiting. I'm losing the war on <laughs> this other side against these French protectorates, but they don't have French's support, and as soon as I get men over there, they're in trouble. Problem is, we can't move anyone over until uh, the Portugal and the Netherlands get out of the war, but we can keep on crushing France's forces. That's fine. That's allowed. Yeah, they're going to unsiege the uh, war goal. That's okay.
We are also losing money though. That's kind of rough. Our power projection has gone down because we're not um, being pirates anymore. You know, the war will cost us. But it would actually be good. Uh, I think I can probably send out uh, my ships again. So let's go attack Lubeck and protect the trade in Novgorod. So we maybe start getting some money again. And France is sending another, like, seven stack out here. <laughs> really, really funny. <laughs> Just gonna have to let the length of the war go on. Especially now since we can't get what we originally came for. It makes perfect sense to just do it this way. I can't believe they keep on sending these small things over. Oh no! Oh no! And the the glorious the glorious transport fleet over there got destroyed because the province they were docked in, got sieged out. Oh well. Um, we need, uh, we're going to need one more ship. One more transport ship. Yep, things are falling apart down there. That's alright. We'll, uh, we'll be back. We'll be back when Burgundy is released. Okay, yeah, come over into Marienburg, and then uh, and then we're gonna attack. Kurlandian peasants taking control. Have they? Uh, accept their demands. Maybe we should reduce war exhaustion. What's our revolt risk look like? It's not that bad. Die, France, die. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, Portugal is now at uh, medium. That's good. Uh, perhaps they would leave the war. If I concede defeat, mm, they're getting closer. We're, get we're getting closer. We are just going to wait them out. See, we didn't even need Bohemia and uh, Austria. Although we do need them to not be against us. That That is good. That they are our allies. France is like, no, no more war. Stop, stop crushing my small stacks that I send your way. Well, no, France. I'm going to keep on killing you. Definitely going to keep on killing you. Now, is he going to move over into Marienburg? No, I guess not. But we're going to not take the river crossing. And attack. Ugh. <laughs> they are just not winning wars. We're not even gaining any war score from this anymore. <laughs> just coming over one at a time, one at a time, one at a time. We're losing war score because we don't own the uh, war goal. But uh, as soon as Portugal and the Netherlands get out, we're going to be right back there with a 12 stack. So... And this is just going to really weaken France. Um, yeah, really weaken them. They only have 52,000 troops right now, and they have no manpower. <laughs> so this is really screwing them up. Now this might be a closer fight. Where are you going, France? Oh, he's going to go attack my 12 stack. That's annoying. We're going to do Force March. Because he might... Oh, he stacked wipe. You... P 
piece of crap, France. Get back here. How is he moving so fast? Oh, he has maneuver of four. Oh, just, oh so annoying. Oh, oh. Now I gotta rebuild this army again. Taking loans. We're gonna be really low on manpower, so. Oh, that was bad. I should have started moving him out of the way when I saw him coming. But live and learn. Stupid friends. So they're going to be there on the 25th of February. We could be there on the 26th. These guys would be there on the 25th of February. We could be there on the 25th, so we'll, we'll miss them. I could go to Warmia now, though. Maybe that wasn't the best idea. We're going to retreat. Hmm. Are they gaining control? Good question. I don't know. I don't know the answer to that yet. I could always bring these other men in, make a bigger army and fight with that. I think I'm probably, let's try the mission protect against France. Now, um, I concede defeat, the Netherlands are uh, going to leave the war, and uh, I bet it's a similar case with Portugal. too much lore. Yeah, we gotta, let's group up our, our ships. Grouping up the ships, grouping up the ships. In memo, uh, we get our diplomat back. Portugal is just offering us peace, so we're gonna accept that. Uh, and now, uh, yeah, now things are looking much better. And Rio de Prada will sue for peace. Just get all these guys out of the war. Get this group over here. Who's better, the king or the heir? The king is. So now we can go reclaim the war goal. I think I probably finally lost control of the situation here. Let's just hope that we don't run into it. France like doesn't have a fleet, but let's hope that we don't run into it anyway. Then we got this other war going on. Oh, what happened here? They, uh... Did I accidentally uh, give them a truce? I guess I did. Oh, oops. Oops. Uh, we'll have to face them another time then. I think I might have accidentally uh, pieced them out or something. I don't know. I don't know what happened there. There was a lot going on, so. Could have. Could have.
France is fighting my rebels. They're just really waiting on me so they can do something. Oh good, so if I let them split up like this. Maybe should have let them continue on a little bit more. Uh, we still get this battle. We're gonna stick with it. Maybe. Oh man, it's gonna be close. They might have it. Oh, they got it. Wow. So close. Starting to win these battles. It's not good. We were doing so well. And but our transport's already here. Let's go uh let's go crush these guys. We're gonna need all like ten years to recover our manpower. We're gonna take the war goal, we'll get Delaware out of the war. And hopefully just really cripple France after this war. I think it's worth it. It's worth it for these loans, these this all this manpower, everything here I think is worth it. Peace offer from Portuguese Brazil, yes. Peace offer from Carabas, yes. Cause now the relative strength of the alliance looks much, much better. We're gonna attack them again. They stay around here. No, they're they're running away. He knows. France knows. They don't even want to engage. I kind of want to engage them though. We have 40k here. They get 30. Ah. Oh. Oh. Again, very close. But we won that one. Good. Good. Excellent. Take that, France. How many men do they have? 4,200. Yes, that is, uh, that is great. Good to see. I think we can split up these guys even a little bit more. There's nothing too scary over here. Now we probably can't full annex this guy until we unsiege this stuff, actually. Yeah, we're not gonna be able to full annex him until we unsiege the stuff he sieged. Which is annoying, but send our colonists back there. Poor Hungary's just been permanently occupied for war score. It's quite all right. We got the war goal again. We uh we are officially out of manpower. How much do we gain a month? 470. Okay. Well, there's not too much we can do about that. I'm not going to consolidate. Ooh. There's a lot of French troops coming. Taking a lot of attrition. We'll let them come. We're gonna back up a little bit. Let them split up and then uh, try to attack them. Uh, Liege wants peace. We're definitely gonna give that to him. So now uh, France has no allies except for Hungary, and it, it's good for us to have Hungary in there because we get war score off of that. Um, so that all that looks uh, really good. Yeah, their war enthusiasm is super low. Uh, our alliance is actually stronger than theirs. Imagine that. Oh, it's gonna be glorious when we when we release uh, Burgundy. And when I annex <laughs> all of Florida, I'm just gonna take it all. Well, I'll take it up to my overextension limit. Anyway, uh, this looks like the end of the episode. Uh, 
So if you're liking this series, uh, make sure to like and or subscribe to my channel, and uh, I'll see you next time.